Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you Bobbi Brown's new holiday 2012 items. In this video I'm going to show you all the eye palettes and the new shimmer brick shade. There are a couple other items in this collection that I won't show you in this video. For example, the lip set. So I'm concentrating mostly on the eye and cheek products for this review. These items are currently available. You can get them either through Sephora or Bobbi Brown online. As always, please make sure to check out AllureBeauty.com if you would like to read in-depth reviews for the quality of the products and photographs of all of the colors and the swatches. First, I want to show you what the box packaging looks like. You have sort of a unique Bobbi Brown logo on here, and then the box itself has this pearl design on it, so it's quite festive. This collection includes two eyeshadow palettes. They cost $47.50 each. And on these palettes, like with the other palettes that come in this collection, you have this kind of unique, I would say collegiate type of design on here. Both palettes have full-sized mirrors and they each come with this duo-ended brush with a liner end and an eyeshadow brush end. So first we have the Rich Caviar palette, and here are the shades up close. You have Bone, Candlelight, and Wheat, and Candlelight is a metallic eyeshadow. And then we have Olive, Black Topaz, and Rich Caviar. This is a sparkle finish, and this is a metallic finish. Bone is this matte cream shade, so its best use is probably for highlighting either on the lid or under the brow bone. Candlelight is this nudie champagne color and it has a slight metallic finish. Wheat is more of a tan nude shade. Just like with bone, it has a matte finish. This is Olive, which I would say is an all over khaki green shade. The underlying color doesn't show up very well. You do have golden shimmer particles in the shade. Here's a second layer of the color. Dug my brush into the pan a little more this time. So this color does not give the type of vibrancy that you see in the pan and it's a little uneven on application. Black Topaz, which is sort of an off black or really really deep gray shade. And in the pan it has these golden shimmer particles. Again this formula is powdery, not very smooth, and doesn't have the even pigmentation that I would like. I'm gonna add a second layer to try to even out the finish, intensify that black a little more, but I really wish that those shimmer particles showed up and contrasted with this black shade a little more, but you kind of just get this dusty black color on the skin. And last we have Rich Caviar, which is this really dark matte purple shade. Looks almost black and will probably look black to anyone who is just looking. But if you look really closely, you can see it has a, a purple hue to it. Again, I'm adding a little more just to even out the finish, but this is definitely more even and pigmented than these two metallic finish shades that we saw previously. And here is the Black Pearl eyeshadow palette. We have White, Tin, and Black Velvet. Black Velvet is a sparkle finish, and Tin is a metallic finish. Then we have Oyster Gray, Gray Denim, and charcoal, and oyster gray is a shimmer wash eyeshadow. White is a matte white shade, 
again would be great for on the lid or highlighting under the brow bone. Tin is a lavender purple shade with a hint of gray. You can see that it doesn't transfer onto the skin very well. This again is a metallic formula shadow, so it seems like the metallic formulas don't translate on the skin very well. Here's a second layer of that color to bring out the purple shade more, and I again applied more pressure on the pan than I did the first time. So there you get decent color payoff. This is Black Velvet, which is a sparkle finish shadow. Seems to suffer from the similar negative characteristics. It's um, not as shimmery, and it's a little weak in pigmentation there. It's a deep purple shade, almost black shade at the base, and that's supposed to have lighter purple shimmer particles. Here is layer two to bring out that color more. So two layers brings out a pretty decent color payoff and a nice contrast with the deeper base and those lighter purple shimmers. Then we have Oyster Gray, which is a gray shade with a hint of this slate purple color. It's a matte formula. Just gonna add a second layer, bring out that color more. Next is Gray Denim, which is a deeper gray shade, great pigmentation, pretty smooth finish there. And I'm sorry if you can see goosebumps, it's just very cold here, so that's why. And last up is Charcoal, which is a matte black shade with pretty good, strong pigmentation there. So if I were to compare these two palettes, I would definitely give this palette a higher grade. I just think that the shimmery, the three shimmery finished colors in this palette are very poor in translation. They're not even, they aren't vibrant in pigmentation. Um, and I don't mean vibrant as in it's like a really bright color. I just mean that the pigmentation isn't what you're seeing in the pan when it's put onto the skin. Now, this palette also suffers from some of those same things but it at least improves a lot. For example, with this color, it improves a lot when you add a second layer on the skin and then you have better matte shades in this palette. So I just think that both of them have some problems. I'm not wowed by either of them, but if you're trying to choose between the two, I would choose the palette with the purple shades as opposed to the more neutral palette for quality. Here's the packaging for the Bellini Lip and Eye Palette. So this one is thicker than the normal eyeshadow palette and then it also has metal hinges. It opens up like this to reveal the four lip colors here. It comes with two brushes. There's an eyeshadow brush and a lip brush. And the palette actually opens up like this and then you flip it open this way to reveal the 10 eyeshadow colors here. And then there's a full-sized mirror underneath that side. And this palette is $75. So the lip colors we have are Bubble Bath, Chrome Pink, Bellini, and Bare. This is a shimmer lip gloss, and these two are glitter lip glosses. And here are the lip gloss shades. You have Bubble Bath, which as you can see is a translucent bubblegum pink shade, Chrome Pink, which is more of a goldeny or champagne pink color, Bellini, which comes off almost clear, 
But if you look really close, it has a very pale pink hue to it. On the lips, you probably won't be able to tell. And last, we have Bear. Which technically has like a beigey tone to it, but again, will come off pretty clear on the lips. And practically speaking, even with bubble gum to the, or I'm sorry, bubble bath to the very far left, the shades are so light in pigmentation that really when you put them on the lips, you're just going to get sort of a glossy finish without a lot of color or even with a lot of shimmer, even though the last two shades and the second shade are technically shimmer or glitter finishes. For the eyeshadow shades, we have Navajo, Candlelight Gold, Petal, Cement, and Prosecco. We have a metallic finish here, a shimmer wash finish, and again a metallic finish. Then we have Truffle, Bellini, Bronze Stone, Brown Sugar, and Caviar. These two are shimmer wash finishes, and this is a metallic finish. Navajo is a slightly creamy nude shade. Here's a second layer. Candlelight Gold is a pale gold shade. This again is a metallic color, so I'm not getting very good underlying gold color, but it's certainly better than most of the metallic formulas in the two eyeshadow palettes that we saw. Petal is a light, slightly dusty, pink shade. Now this is a shimmer wash finish, so don't expect as bold of a color. Here's a second layer just so you can see the color better. And it's probably hard to tell on the camera, but it does have a really subtle shimmery quality to it. It's not a matte shade. Here we have Cement which is a really slightly tan nude color, has a matte formula, and Prosecco, which is a shimmery nude color. This has a metallic formula, but it goes on a lot better than the ones that we've seen previously. It's a lot more smooth in finish. Here's Truffle which is a matte color. It's a pale pinky beige shade. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll add another layer. Bellini, which is a peachy champagne. This one is, again, a shimmer wash finish. It's more noticeably shimmery than the other shimmer wash color that we saw, which was Petal. Here's one more layer. Bronze Stone is another shimmer wash finish. This is a very light brown shade. The subtle shimmery finish to it. Brown Sugar is a metallic eyeshadow. It's much, much smoother and stronger in pigmentation than, I would say, any of the metallic shades that we've seen so far. And Caviar, which is a matte black shade. Not to be confused with Rich Caviar, which was that really deep purple matte shade that we saw in the Rich Caviar eye palette. Also not to be confused with the matte black shade we saw in the Black Pearl eyeshadow palette, although charcoal is also a matte black shade. Here is the packaging for the limited edition 24 karat shimmer brick compact. So it opens up like this. You have the classic Bobbi Brown shimmer brick here in the strips of colors, and you have a full-sized mirror. These shades don't have individual names, but you can see that it ranges from this cream type of color to a champagne to more of a tanned nude, 
um, this one more like a nudie champagne, and then you have this rose type color here. And the entire pan has a degree of frosty shimmer to it. I'll swatch the shades individually for you because you certainly can use them alone for an eye look. And Physician's Formula, I believe, does have their own version of these shimmer bricks. And the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick is $42. So while I personally think that the Bobbi Brown Formula is better, it's certainly a good deal and a much more affordable alternative to buy the Physician's Formula ones. So here are the colors alone. As you can see, it has a high frosty sheen finish. And here is what it will look like if you applied it with a blush brush and used it as a highlighter. So you can see it has a pretty distinct shimmery finish, but it is refined in terms of the shimmer particles. And another layer, just to kind of show you. The intense shine that you get. All right, so there you have Bobbi Brown's Holiday 2012 collection. I actually am a little disappointed by the collection. I expected the eyeshadows to have a better or more impressive formula, but especially with the metallic shades, or the metallic formula shades, they were very lacking in pigmentation and it was just sort of a, an uneven glittery finish. Now I have to admit that I am quite familiar with the shimmer bricks, but I don't have a lot of experience with Bobbi Brown eyeshadows or I guess even the lip products either. So let me know if you are more familiar with the eyeshadows from Bobbi Brown, whether all of the metallic formula or shimmer formula shades in Bobbi Brown's line are kind of like that, or if this is just an anomaly because, you know, Bobbi Brown has a very high reputation and so I'm really surprised that so many of the eyeshadows were on the weak pigment side and had such uneven finishes. The lip glosses are nice, they're not too thick, they're not sticky, but um, you know there's just not that much of a difference between them because the color is so sheer. Now I am a big fan of the Shimmer Brick formula and this is a great highlighting shade in this collection, that 24 karat shade. I will say though that if you have several of Bobbi Brown's more neutral toned Shimmer Bricks that this one isn't really that unique in terms of the shade itself. So you may not want to dish out another $42 because it's not like a new pink or peach shade or anything like that. All right, please tell me your thoughts about this collection if you have any of these items. And of course, you can go over to the reviews on the website if you have more questions about these products. If I haven't answered any of your questions in this video or on those reviews, please just leave a comment below or on the blog and I will try to answer the question as best I can. I hope you enjoyed looking at these colors with me. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.